So we're going to go ahead and move right on to some of the more advanced Google features, some of the apps that we may not know. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is touch on Google Docs, some of the hidden features within Google Docs. Now we all know about sharing, where you can share, but there's some nice advanced features inside sharing that you can change a few things. So if I click on share here, add in a title to my document. We all know that if we type in somebody's email, it's going to pop up and allow me to share. Now what's nice is you have an advanced tab down here that not a lot of folks use. If I click on advanced and go down here, I can actually prevent people who are listed as editors from changing and adding new people, giving them sharing permissions to that account. I can also disable the ability for students to download or even a coworker to download an offline copy or print a copy of that document. So if I want it to be exclusively held in Google Docs, I just click on this. And so now it only is online. They cannot take an offline copy. Let's hit save changes. Now that we've add I engage on here, you'll notice they pop up right below. As we hover over top of it, there's a stopwatch. This stopwatch lets you set an expiration on that sharing permission. So if I give iEngage editing permissions, but let's say in November, I really don't want them to have that anymore. I want it to go offline. I just click on set expiration, custom date, and we'll say November 30th is the cutoff date. So that's 35 days. On day 36, if they try to access that document, they'll get a notification saying they no longer have access. Think of it like a self-destruct message that you still keep a copy of the owner, but the people you've shared it with listed here will have an expiration to their access. And they can always request to come back again. 